and we are here at Real Art with Luck Bug. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. How about you? Uh, doing all right. Doing all right. You know, kind of getting ready, getting up on stage for everyone. Uh, you've been on stage before, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So you know what it's like to be up here. I'm usually not up here, so it's kind of a, a whole new experience for me. Yeah. So we've had we've had three shows with the program so far, and it's it's been really cool. Uh, I think to see the progression of us, but like everyone, um, you know, I think live it out loud. Uh, every show, it's like every band has gotten better, like kind of unconditionally, and mm -hmm. it's been really fun to see. That's awesome. And is this your first year doing Live It Out Loud? This um, is my first year. I, I did it in 2020, and it, it, it I was not very good. I, I kind of didn't really do much. <laughs> and Jonathan, you've you've done it. Uh, yeah, this is my well. second year. I was here in 2021. Nice. So what advice did you have for you know the first year people, uh, whether it be in your band or not, um, that you learned from here and that you've been able to uh, you know let everyone know? Well, since I did it since I did it a year before, I kind of knew what to expect, and I was able to use my experience to help them do all the stuff. Nice. Right all on. Stuff. So let's talk a little bit about Luckbug. How did you guys uh, decide? Uh, how did you come up with the name Luckbug? Because it's kind of—it's it's an interesting one. It's a one. really short story. So um, <laughs> we were sitting at practice one day, and and we're like, "What do we name our band?" And Jonathan pulls out this guy who we have. Jackie, what did we name? Scroinkus Gro Scroinkus Galoinkus. Scroinkus Galoinkus. Scroinkus the beetle, and he is our mascot. And there we, he is. That's Luckbug. So that does, is uh, Professor Scroinkus Galoinkus. Oh yeah, sorry. We just came up with that. I think about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, the perfect um, exactly. So but, does uh, Scroinkus end up on stage with you when you perform? I think he's always in Jonathan's pocket. Fair. Pretty yeah, much. You should pull him out for the final I mean, show. It's, it's luck bug because it's, it's like a good luck charm. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, it's so actually it his started. good luck bug, and that's why we thought of it. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's really not that much more complex than that. I think it was kind of cool because it felt, um, you know, especially when we were playing, we were playing a lot of punk stuff, and it felt very unpunk somehow. Well, yeah. also, <laughs> also, bug is my childhood nickname. Oh, and really? Yeah, I told you guys that. My dad also <laughs> did that. that. Yeah. So Bug is my that. childhood nickname, so I thought it was cool because it was kind of like a dual connection thing, except one of them was just completely obscure, and then the other one was actually relatively intimate. So That's pretty amazing. That's pretty awesome. So you talked about your punk sound. So is that what you're going for when you're uh, taking the stage? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we, we have a lot of different influences. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been like we're all over the place, and I think that's what's really fun about this band. Um, mm -hmm. Like personally, I, I love a lot of electronic music. I'm really into drum and bass. Nice. Um, like '90s trip hop is the coolest thing ever. Um, uh, Leave like, it to the drummer to like EDM. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's something. There's something about a break beat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like Jackie, I mean, I mean, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really into like a progressive rock and uh, post rock and whatever ween. ween is i'm not sure what you <laughs> i don't i don't even as. know if ween knows what ween is but <laughs> they still go out there and they put it out there they just put out whatever the hell they want yeah such as song that i can't say the name of absolutely <laughs> <laughs> is that the song no it's not that song no i it's think we know what song it is it's the song considering that, that our practices have been completely yeah it's been demolished, demolished by me playing that riff over and over <laughs> and you guys hate it um, I really like more of like your basic like punk or like alternative rock, you know, whatever 90s grunge basic, but Nirvana and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But also like kind of the more like softer, like indie rock stuff. So I'm kind of in like the, I don't know. That zone. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is. The zone. Yeah. My influences overlap a lot with jazzes. I like a lot of punk and alternative and pop punk stuff We're the cool I'm also really into yeah, I'm also really into metal and hardcore nice so I mean like taking all of those different especially like I love the fact that you can uh, take something like and an influence from like even the electronic and go with that metal and hardcore and then mix it with the punk and you can just you can find your own vibe through all of your different uh, through the different influences and that's got to be fun too just working through this whole process with live it out loud oh yeah yeah we actually, uh, we found out how fun it was to work with all of those genres a couple days ago on, what was it, Wednesday? Yeah. Uh, we recorded our first original that we made. Nice. Yeah, um, yeah we did it in three hours, which everyone else did it in, all, in three hours as well. I, I wanted so. to add wacky sh stuff to the song, but the, but we didn't have time. No, we, we <laughs> yeah. wanted the accordion drone in the background. <laughs> and we the synths. Been, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have ended it with, like, ambient synths yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm fairly... Mm, 
Okay, I don't feel the best about about the drumming I did, oh, but I think it was, it was it was good enough. Was good. I should shut up about it. Yeah, um, yeah, because I will do what I did. In, I will do what I did in the studio again. <laughs> I pulled him aside and I was like, Carlos, look at me. Shut up. You're fine. <laughs> awesome. And he was fine. See, there you go. Aggressive positivity is what exactly. you need. Yeah. I love all of that. So, what can people expect for, uh, from your big show? Oh man, well, uh, a lot of energy. Hopefully. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. we're actually going first. So yeah, we have to do all the work. Oh, you got to set the stage everyone for everyone. Yeah, yeah, you got to get that energy out there. You're the ones getting got, everyone we hyped. Got some fast covers. Um, our original actually wound up being a lot more laid back than. Uh, I wouldn't say covers. laid back it's, in the beginning. It's, it's, in the beginning, it's laid back. It gets yeah. it gets faster later. Uh, we we end it by like we accelerating the song off into oblivion, which is really fun. Don't wow. spoil it. Don't oh, <laughs> spoil it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. don't spoil um, it, everyone. We, we you actually don't play any music for our original. This, yeah, this we no, don't it's play just music. dead quiet. Um, yeah, we just it's it's we it's, just sit there at the end of the oh, stage. Oh, avant garde. Yeah, I we see. we only stare at you and. That's the performance. Yeah. Except me. I'm using my pogo stick. <laughs> Excellent. Don't. See, you never know what you're going to expect when you see Luckbug. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Mm. Mm.